Good day YouTube, it's Mustang Lover back, and today I'm going to show you all three ways how to tell your centrifugal clutch is bad. So this part on mini bikes, uh, ATVs, etc. is called a centrifugal clutch, which makes the engine spins, which makes the chain and all this uh, mechanism go. So I have a bad centrifugal clutch because this clutch is possibly over 48 years old. So the first sign you want to check is when you see the clutch, it's not supposed to wiggle to the side like this. If it wiggles to the side like this, that's because of strain. So one of the bearings are bad in there, or it's just can be, it's shaven metal or something, who knows. But that's sign number one, and I'll show you guys sign number two. Okay, so I'm on the 69 Taco, and I'm going to show you the second sign that's going to have a bad clutch. So first thing you're going to see is the engine's going to start bogging out when you get very fast. Like I'll show you. So I'm going a uh, good speed right now, like a cruising speed. But if I'm trying to gain more speed, it starts bogging out. It's not the engine. I'll show you how it's not the engine either. A lot of traffic here. Okay, so here's sign number two coming up. So, what I'm gonna do. Ah, come on, man. Really had to do that, didn't you? Alright, because I had to go downhill for this. So, you're gonna hear the engine start sputting out. Listen. Like that, hear it? That's not good. That's because the clutch is going too fast. So it can't handle that. But that's sign number two that the centrifugal clutch is bad. It's engine bogging. It's nothing to do with the engine. The engine's completely fine. And it's a lot of vibration too. Not engine vibration. But here's another possible sign. I don't know that I discovered with my centrifugal clutch ever since it started going bad is when I let go of the gas and I'm going downhill or something and then the clutch starts making this bell noise. Hear it? That's the bad noise. But I'll make the engine bog again maybe. Yep, so it's bogging out. But I'll show you um, in a few how to know it's not the engine either. So I'll be right back with uh, sign number three. More engine bogging. Good. That's clutch stuff. That's straining up the engine. So that's what that means. So I'm almost back to my driveway. So I'll make sign number four. And if you think this engine's pistons knocking, well, uh, that's the clutch. That's the clutch doing all that. But I'm going to show you right now what to do. Make sure it's not the engine. So I'm just going to shut off the engine. And then pull this chain back to remove the just there. Then what you're going to do now is remove the clutch. Just like that. And then I'm going to start up the engine again. And what you want to see is if you could go above the speed you were bogging out at, like when the engine started uh, backfiring and stuff. So if you could go above, if you could go faster than it was when it started doing that, that means your clutch is bad. So I'm going to start the engine right now again. And see there's not as much pinging noise as the clutch is making. So I'm going to show you. This is cruising speed when I'm usually driving, but I'm going to gun it now. Watch. So yeah, that's the clutch, because I'm cruising, uh, not cruising well, yeah, I'm sitting here, but I'm usually holding the throttle around 4,000 RPM right now, and there's nothing bad is happening to it. So it's the clutch that's bad, not the engine. So that's some science how to tell if your mini bike, ATV's clutch has gone bad, so I'm going to shut it off now. 
So thank you for watching, everybody, and you all have a good day. Bye.